Lesson 14 Quran, the Word of God, an elaboratory translation. Brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum. Auzu billahi minash shaitani rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. We begin with the name of Allah who is most gracious and merciful. Na'muduhu nusalli ala rasulihi al-kareem. And we begin with blessings on Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the last and final Prophet. We had uh, finished with part two of Quran. Surah Baqarah continues, and part we start with part three today. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Tilka Rasul of Fazalna Bazum Mela Baz Menum and Kalam Allah of Arafa Baza Bazum Tarajat Vatena is Isamna Maria Malbayanate Vayetna who Beru will Kudus. Without Shallah of Matak Talal Mak Mak Tatal Lazina Mim Badehim Mim Bade Maja at whom whom Malbayanato Vulakin Naftalafu, Kominum and Amana, Womenum Man Kafara. Walau shallahu makta taluhu, walakin allaha jafulu ma yubi. 253. These are the messengers of Allah. We have dispatched to guide the mankind for salvation. Some of whom we have exalted over some others. Allah spoke to some and raised, raised the pedestal of some higher than others. We, have, we gave clear signs, manifestations, miracles to Jesus, Isa, son of Maryam, and strengthened him with the Holy Spirit, that is, Angel Gabriel, Jibreel. And had Allah so desired, the followers of those prophets would not have fought each other after the departure of the prophets when they had received very clear orders and very clear orders in, and injunctions but they differed, disputed, breaking into various factions and sects. Then some among them believed some turned disbelievers and if Allah had wanted they could they would not have fought against each other but Allah does whatever he pleases ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu anfiqu mimma razaqnakum min qabli an yatiya yawmal la bayun fihi wala khulatun wala shafa'atun wala wal kafiruna hum zalimun 254. O believers, spend in the way of Allah from the sustenance which we have provided you before the arrival of the day when there will be no bargaining, friendship, or intercession, and it is the disbelievers who are wrongdoers, unjust. 255 is Ayatul Kursi, well known as Ayatul Kursi. Allahu la ilaha illahu al hayyul qayyum la taqazu sinatum wal nam lahum of samatum wa fidars. Manzalazi jeshfra windau illa bizni yalmu ma bene edihim wa ma kalfahum bulaju ituna bishayim in ilmi illa be masha wasa kursi wa samuati valars. Velayo uduhu ifso ma uhu al ali ul azim. 255 Allah, there is none worthy of worship, subservience, slavery, but Him, the eternally, intrinsically, ever living, who holds, sustains, balances all. Neither the slightest slumber overtakes Him, nor sleep. Whatever is in the skies and the earth, belongs to him. There is none to intercede, recommend anyone to him but with his permission. He is 
well aware what is before them and what is behind them. They cannot gauge, grasp, know anything of his knowledge, but whatever he permits, approves. His throne accommodates under it all the skies and the earth, the cosmos, the metaphysical. And it is not the least problematic for him to hold them in balance. And he is the one exalted, the supreme. لا إكراه في الدين قد تبين رشد من الغي فمن يكفر بالتاغوت ويؤمن ويؤمن بالله فقد استمسك بالأروة الوسكى لن فسام لها والله سميع عليم 256 There is no compulsion in religion Definitely the straight path has been made clearly distinct from misguidance the wrong track. Therefore, he who renounces Tahut, false deities, disbelieving powers, Satan and Satanic pressure groups. I repeat, Tahut is a repeated term of Quran which means false deities, disbelieving powers, Satan and Satanic pressure groups, etc. and believes wholeheartedly in, in Allah, so he has grasped the firm handhold which never breaks, and Allah is aware of everything. 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 يُخْرِجُونَهُمْ مِنَ النُّورِ إِلَى الظُّلُمَاتِ أُولَائِكَ أَسَابُ النَّارِ هُمْ فِيهَا قَالِدُونَ 257 And Allah is the Wali, Helper, Protector of the believers. He brings them out of the depth of darkness and leads them into light. And those who are disbelievers, Satan's, Devils and devilish people are the devil's friends who, who takes them from the light into darkness. So these are the people of the fire, the inmates of hell shall remain therein forever. 258. Alam tara ilal hajja ibrahima fi rabbi an ataullahu al اتالہو الملکہ اس قالا ابراہیم و رب اللہ زی یو ہی و امیت و قالا انہو ہی و امیت قالا ابراہیم و فئن اللہ یاتی من یمس و من بین المشرق و فاتح و بیا من المغرب فبوہ اتالہ زی کفر کفر واللہ لا یادی قوم الظالمین 258 Haven't you reflected over the one Namrud, who argued with Prophet Ibrahim, Ibrahim over the existence of his Rabb, Creator, Sustainer, only because Allah had given him a kingdom. When Ibrahim told him that my Rabb is he who gives life and causes death, he said, replied, I also give life and cause death. Abraham said, Allah brings the sun from the east, now you bring it from the west. Then the disbeliever was taken aback, and Allah does not give the right path to the unfair, unjust. Now, this is a lengthy verse, so I'll go through the translation. 259. Or didn't you see the individual is Ezra? Who, who passed by a tongue collapsed on its, on its roofs. How could Allah bring these dead township back to life? He thought. Thereupon Allah caused him to die and raised him after a hundred years, saying, How long 
did you remain here? He said, he said, perhaps I remained like this for a day or a part of a day. Allah said, you stayed as such for a hundred years. Have a look at your food and drink. They are not rotten. And look at your donkey and see that his, that his very bones are decayed. And we have done this to make you a sign for the people. So that they understand that Allah will raise the dead mankind hereafter. So that they understand that Allah will raise the dead mankind hereafter. And look at the bones of a donkey. How we bring together, then clothe them with flesh and bring him back to life. When all this was shown to him, he exclaimed, Now I know surely that Allah has power over everything. Vaiskala Ibrahim Rabbi Arini Kaifa Tuhil Mota Kala Avalam Tumil Kala Bravala Kin Liz Layet Mine Yetman Kalbi Kala Fakuz Arbatam in Terif Fasul Huna Lika Summaj on the Alakul Jabar Minum Minumna Juzan Summa Summad Huna Yati Yati Naka Sayan Wa Alam Anallah Azizun Hakim 260 and, and do recap, recapitulate when Prophet Abraham said, O oh my Rabb, show me how you give life to the dead. He said, Allah said, Is it that you do not believe? Ibrahim, Abraham submitted, Why not? I ask this because I want my heart to be at peace. Allah said, Take four birds, train them, to follow your direction. Cut their bodies into pieces and scatter these pieces on four hilltops. Then call them back. Allah will bring them back to life and they will come to you right away. And thus know it well that Allah is all powerful, all wise. Masal Lazina Jin Fikuna Mbalahum Fi Sabili Lahika Masal Habatin Tim Tim Batats Sabah Sunabila Fi Kulin Sumbu Latin Meradun Habba Habate Wallahu Yuzaib Nizaib for Liman Yesha Wallahu Wasim Ali 261 The example of those who spend in the way of Allah is as if a grain that sprouts into seven ears, each brings one hundred grains, and Allah gives manifold increase to whom He wishes, and Allah is all embracing and all knowing. Allah zina jin fikuna balam fi sabilla suma suma yitbuna ma ma anfaku manu ala azallam azrum darabim bala kafu nalehim bala hum yazanum two sixty two. The people who spend in the way of Allah, then having spent, do not boast, brag about their favor, nor tease. These are the ones for whom there is reward with Allah, and they shall neither have any fear, nor will they be grieved. Kolun marufam maqfiratun khairun min sadaqatin yatbao aza wallahu wa halim. 263. Politeness, kind words, and forgiveness are better than charity, followed by hurting, nasty, behavior. Allah is not peeved. He is self-sufficient, extremely patient. Ya ayyuhal lazina amnu la tuftalu 
264 O believers, do not nullify your charity by boasting about your favors and teasing like the one who spends his wealth to be seen by people as, as a show-off and doesn't have faith in Allah nor in the day of resurrection. His parable is like that of a hard, barren rock covered with a thin layer of dust. Then a heavy rain falls on it, leaving it just a barren stone. Such people will not gain any reward that they thought they had earned. Allah does not guide the disbelievers. And whereas the example of those who spend their wealth to seek the pleasure of Allah and to strengthen their souls is like a garden on a high and fertile ground. When heavy rains fall on it, it yields twice its normal produce. And if no rain falls, even light moisture is sufficient. And Allah sees extremely well all that you do. would any, would any one of you like that his garden, which is full of palm trees, grapevines, and all kinds of fruits, with canals flowing underneath, and he has more such like fruits, then his old age arrives, and his children are too small to work. Then there comes a fiery whirlwind that blasts and consumes it. This is how Allah elaborates His revelations so that you may ponder over them. Timely spending in the way of Allah is necessary. I repeat, the message is timely spending in the way of Allah is necessary. Ya Yulazina Amnu Anfiku Minta Yibatema Kasapta Mima Aparajina Lakum Minal Arze Vala Tayema Mu Murkham Khabisa Mino Tunfekuna Valastum Be Akhezihe Illa Aintolizu Fiye Walamu Anala Anil Hamin 267. O believers, spend in the way of Allah of the good things you have earned through fair means and from that which we have produced from for you, the earth. And do not plan on unfair, haram things, earnings, and do not give in charity those worthless things that you yourselves would not accept, but with closed eyes. Bear in mind that Allah is all independent, praiseworthy.
الشيطان بعدكم الفقر ويأمركم بالفحشاء والله يعيدكم مغفرة منه وفضلا والله واسع عليم 268 the devil threatens you with poverty difficulties if you spend in the way of Allah and prompts you to indecency indecency sense shamelessness while Allah promises you promises you his forgiveness and bounties and Allah's knowledge is simply boundless yutil hikmat man sha man yutil hikmat faqad utiya khairan kaseera wama yazakkaru illa ulul alba 269 he grants wisdom understanding and comprehension to whosoever he wills and whoever is given wisdom is indeed given a great wealth blessing a lot of good yet none but men of understanding learn a lesson take good advice wama anfaktum min nafaqatin aw anzartum min nazrin fa inna allaha ya'lamuhu wa mal zalimin min ansar to seventy and whatever you spend in charity or whatever who you make surely allah knows it the wrongdoers shall have no helpers in tabdu sadaqat fane fane ma hi awain to fuha wa tumba tu tu ha tu tu hal fukra fa huwa khairun lakum ba yukaffiru ankum min sayyatikum wallahu bima ta'maluna qadeer to serve one to give charity in public is good if not done as show off but to give to the poor needy is better and would would erase some of your sins and allah is well aware of all that you do and the intention with, with which you do them and the intention with which you do them ليس عليك هداهم ولكن الله يهدي من شاء وما تنفقون من خير فلا انفسكم انفسكم وما تنفقون الا الابتغاء وجه الله وما تنفقون من خير 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 يوفى عليكم وانتم لا تظلمون to serve to oh prophet you are not responsible to put the people on the right path and to the contrary it is allah alone who puts to the straight path whosoever he desires and whatever you spend in charity it is for your own self benefit as long as you spend it for the pleasure of allah as long as you spend it for the pleasure of allah and whatever you spend in charity you will be paid back in full and you shall not be wronged lil fuqara allazina usiru fi sabilillah la yastatiyuna zarban fa'lan fi al-arz yasabuhum al-jahl al-aghniya wa min ta afu fi tarifuhum bi sima la yasaluna nasa al-hafa وَمَنْ تُنْفِقُ مِنْ خَيْرٍ فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ بِهِ عَلِيمٌ 273 let your charity be for the needy people who are engaged so much in the cause of allah that they cannot move about in the country to earn their livelihood that is religious scholars etc and an ignorant man and ignorant may take them to be self sufficient because they do not beg you can recognize them by their looks for they do not make in insistent demands on people and whatever you spend anything useful definitely allah knows 
اللہ زینہ جن فکون بالون بلیل و نہار سرام و لالانیت فلاہم اجرہم اندہ رفہم بلاہم خوفون علیہم بلاہم یحزنون 274 Those who spend in the way of Allah at night and during the day covertly and overtly so they have an enormous reward with their Rabb and neither shall they fear nor will they grieve. 275 a bit lengthy I'll go to the translation Those who take riba interest would not be raised on the doomsday but as one who has been made loopy made uh, loopy mad by the devil enfolding gripping him they would be in this miserable lunatic plight because they believe business dealings are also like riba interest that there is no difference taking interest is is also a form of business trading whereas allah has declared business as legal in order and declared interest as haram forbidden then he who accepts this instruction order from his rab and he refrains what is with him is left to him and his case is with allah to decide and he who takes riba interest thereafter so they are the dwellers of hell they'll stay in it forever i repeat and he who takes riba interest thereafter so they are the dwellers of hell they'll stay in it forever يَمْحَقُ اللَّهُ الرِّبَا وَيُرْبِ الصَّدَقَاتِ وَاللَّهُ لَا يُحِبُّ كُلَّ كَفَّارٍ عَسِيمٍ 276 Allah destroys riba that's why those who take interest are ultimately ruined land in misery and trouble often after 40 and increases enhances charity manifolds and allah increases enhances charity manifold and allah doesn't love is not happy with any ungrateful sinner inna allazina amanu wa amilu salihati wa qamu salata wa atu zakata lahum ajruhum inda rabbihim wala khaufun alayhim wala hum yahzanun 277 those who have believed in the unity of Allah, the day of accountability, and Muhammad, peace be upon him, being the last and final prophet of Allah, and do pious deeds, that is, follow the prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, establish salah, five times prayers, and give zakah, compulsory charity, will have their reward with Allah, and they will have nothing to fear or to grieve ya ayyuhallazina amanu taqullaha wa anbazaru ma baqiya min 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 riba in kuntum mu'minin to safety o those who believe fear allah and write off give up whatever is left of in in, in interest if you are indeed believers فَإِلَمْ تَفَلُوا فَأَزَنُوا بِحَرْبٍ مِنَ اللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ وَإِنْ تُبْتُمْ فَلَكُمْ رَوْسُوا أَمْ رَوْسُوا أَمْ وَالِكُمْ وَلَا تَسْلِمُونَ وَلَا تُسْلِمُونَ 279 And then, if you do not give up riba, usually interest, then you have initiated a war that you can never win. Get prepared to fight Allah. and his prophet and if you if you don't demur show objection and are repentant seek allah's forgiveness so the original amount that you lent is for you you can have it back neither should you commit excess on anyone nor anyone on you تو وان کانا ذو اسرتن فنا فنازرتن الى ما میسرتن 
وَأَن تَصَدَّقُوا خَيْرُ لَكُمْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تَعْلَمُونَ 2.80 If the debtor is in a monetary difficulty, grant him time till he is stable. And if you let it go, forgive him the amount, then it is extremely good for you, if you may comprehend. وَاتَّقُوا يَوْمَ تُرْجَعُونَ فِيهِ إِلَى اللَّهِ سُمَّ تُوَفَّى كُلُّ نَفْسٍ مَا كَسَبَتْ وَهُمْ لَا يُزْلَمُونَ 2.81 And keep fearing the day, the harbinger of punishment and reward. When you would be returned to Allah, then every individual shall have in full whatever he earned, collected, the good and the bad, and there shall be no excess or injustice with you. The next verse is a bit lengthy, so the translation. 282. O those who believe, when you deal with each other in lending for a fixed period of time, put it in writing. Let a scribe write it with justice between the parties. The scribe whom Allah has given the gift of literacy should, shouldn't refuse writing. Let him, also, let him who is taking the loan dictate, fearing Allah, his up, and not diminish, diminishing anything from the settlement. If the borrower is feeble-minded or weak or unable to dictate himself, let the guardian of his interests take for him, dictate for him that with justice. Let two witnesses from among you bear witness to all such documents. If two men cannot be found, then one man and two women of your choice should bear witness so that if one of the women forgets anything the other may remind her the witnesses must not refuse when called upon to do so you must not be be averse to writing your contracts for a future period whether the matter is of less or great significance this section is more just for you with Allah as it facilitates establishment of evidence and is the surest way to remove all doubts. But if it is a routine commercial transaction conclude, concluded on the spot among yourselves, there is no blame on you, nothing wrong if you don't put it in writing. Excuse me. You should have witnesses when you make commercial transactions. Let no harm be done to scribe or witness, and if you do so, you shall be guilty of transgression. Keep fearing Allah, and Allah teaches everything, and Allah knows everything. That's, uh, no, we continue. Uh, two, uh, 250, 283. Wa in kuntum ala safarim wa lam tazdu kataban فَرَهَنُ مَقْبُوزَةً فَيَفَا فَإِنَّ أَمْنَ أَمْنَ بَعْضٌ بَعْضٌ فَالْيُوَدِّ الَّذِينَ تُمِنْ أَمْنَاتُ وَالْجَتَكِ اللَّهُ كِلَّا رَبَّهُ بَلَا تَكْتُمُ تَتَكْتُمُ شَادَتَهُمْ يَكْتُمُ يَكْتُمَ فَإِنَّهُ إِسْمٌ كَلْبَهُ وَاللَّهُ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ أَلِيمٌ two eighty three if you are traveling and find no scribe to put the transaction in writing, then resort to security, resort to security taken in possession. If one of you trusts the other with the pledge, let the trustee deliver the pledge property to its owner, and he should fear Allah, his Rabb. Do not conceal testimony, the truth, and whoever conceals it, his heart is definitely sinful. And Allah knows fully well all that you do. Lillahi maafi samawati maafi laz wa in tibdu maafi anfasikum wa au tukfu ho yuhasibkum billah billah ho wa yakfu ho le man shao wa yu azzib ho man yashao wallahu wala kulli shayin qadeer 284 and to Allah 
belongs whatever exists in the heaven, the emperors and the earth. And whatever you open and whether you open out your heart or hide things and whether you open out your heart or hide things, Allah will definitely take an account. Then he will forgive whosoever he wishes and punish whoever he wills. And Allah has a grip over everything. Abhan Rasul ibn Anzal alayhi min rabbihi wal mu'minun Kullun amana billahi wa malaikatihi wa kutubihi wa rasulihi Lano fariqo bayna ahdin min rasulihi wa qalu samayna wa tuana wa frana ka rabbana wa alayka wa alayka al masih 285. The messenger has believed, has full faith in the guidance revealed to him from his Rabb and so have the believers and so have the believers all uh, all have believed in the unity of allah and have believed in the existence of his angels and his books and his messengers they say we do not discriminate any one of his messengers and they say we hear and we obey grant us your forgiveness O our, o our Rabb, and to you we have to return inevitably. And the last verse for today. لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسالها ما كسبت ولاها ما كتسبت ربنا لا لا توقزنا إن سينا أخطانا وربنا ولا تحمل علينا إسن كما حملته والذين من قبلنا وربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا تاقة لنا بي وَافُوا أَنَّا وَافِرْ لَنَا وَرْحَمْنَا وَانْتَ مَوْلَنَا فَنْسُلْنَا لِلْقَوْمِ الْقَافِرِينَ To Allah, Allah, do not burden any human being with more than he can bear. Everyone will enjoy the reward of his deeds and suffer the punishment of his wrongdoings. The believers plead, O oh, our Rabb, do not grip us, punish us, if we forget or make a mistake, do not grip us, punish us if we forget or make a mistake. Our Rabb, do not lay on us the kind of burden that we have no strength to bear. Pardon us, forgive us, have mercy on us. You are our protector. Help us against the disbelievers. That's all for today. Jazakallah. Please pray for me, ex-brigadier Mustansar Billah.